So I've seen Nando versus movies one last scene and quite frankly when looking at it there was one scene that came to mind to me almost immediately. In fact when really thinking about scenes that really stuck with me it was almost surprising how much this was the one out of all of the movies that came out this year. But I have to say without a shadow of a doubt that scene is Ben Affleck's last scene as Bruce Wayne in The Flash. For what it's worth I understand that The Flash wasn't well received. Between the bad CGI, the problematic history of Ezra Miller, people People being tired of the multiverse and the whole James Gunn problem, it just wasn't on track to be a major success. I mean, for all of its successes, The Flash had equal amounts times two of problems. But the irony of the situation is, it's probably the best Batman we've gotten from the DCEU in a movie that featured two of them. I mean, technically three, but that's just a quick cameo. Something that's interesting is that people really did praise Ben Affleck's Batman in The Flash, probably more than even he was expecting. After a disastrous Batman vs Superman, although not necessarily his fault, and a subpar Justice League, Joss Whedon's version of course, he experienced quite a bit of a saving grace, as well as most of the DCEU actors by having Zack Snyder's Justice League come out which gave him a bit of redemption amongst the general fan base. But it's his role in The Flash that really brings out the idea and potential of what we could have gotten with Batfleck all along, but also what we'll never get again, because it's the last time we'll ever see Ben Affleck as Batman again. I gotta say, it's a bit ironic that Affleck is going out with such praise for how he portrayed Batman in The Flash, considering how he was looked at when news of him first getting the role came to light. I mean, you wanna talk about a tough marketing job. When DC first tried to sell Ben Affleck as Batman, the reactions were wildly varied to say the least. And honestly, even that's being kind of nice. Initially, back in 2013, when Ben was chosen for Batman, there were a list of negative reasons as to why a lot of people weren't on board. Christian Bale's portrayal of Batman in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight trilogy had become iconic and was still fresh in the minds of fans. Affleck's personal life, including high profile relationships and personal struggles, was mainstream celebrity news, which added to the concern about whether he could embody the stoic and revered character of Batman. His previous portrayal of Daredevil, which was looked at quite unfavorably, certainly didn't help things, nor did George Clooney's portrayal in Batman and Robin, who people looked at Ben Affleck being more like, rather than Christian Bale. For the general fan base, there were just too many things to pick at, too many things to dissect. So to see Ben Affleck's version of Batman finally being celebrated is quite interesting, although it is very much well deserved. He's in quite a few scenes within the DCEU movies that are actually really good, especially those where he's more Bruce Wayne rather than Batman, which is why it's his last scene in The Flash that holds such significance for people. Ben Affleck's final scene in The Flash serves as a poignant moment, encapsulating a journey that extends beyond the character of Batman and delves into the actor's personal and professional evolution. Within that scene, Affleck's farewell scene if you will, is an exceptional examination of the emotional depth, character resonance, and symbolism inherent of what Bruce Wayne and his decisions to become and remain the Batman represents. I think one of the major things about this scene that stands out is the real world connections to Affleck's public struggles and personal challenges, including his battles with addiction, all of which have been well documented. The scene acts as not only a farewell to a character, but also a reflection of Affleck's own battles, infusing the moment with a profound sense of authenticity. As an audience, it's hard not to look at yourself, your own battles, and identify with this scene, with Bruce Wayne. This isn't the usual brooding Batman who at his best is only going to share his feelings with Alfred, no. Here he's opening up to Barry Allen about carrying the weight of past mistakes and regret, something that we as humans do daily. It's not an easy thing to do or deal with, the whole looking in the mirror and not liking what you see back. And in this final scene, there's acknowledgement from Bruce that he still struggles with this. And Barry's sense of naivety adds to this with Bruce sadly explaining to him that it's okay to accept his scars. Barry, these scars we have make us who we are. We're not meant to go back and fix them. This plays into the mentor-mentee dynamic that Bruce has with Barry. Comic and animated fans know this, but for those who may not, Batman and Flash have always had a bit of a closer relationship, one that has been shown over the years in a few different mediums. 
So this scene of a heart-to-heart -heart conversation between Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen, emphasizing the mentorship and fatherly role that Batman assumes for the Flash, provides a strong emotional weight that adds layers to this farewell. Perhaps the most important line of this scene is when Barry respectfully tries to push past what Bruce is saying by essentially claiming that it still worked out for him in the end. Your tragedy made you a hero. That also made me alone. It's here where you truly see Bruce's pain. He's alone, he's been alone, and he remains alone in the grand scheme of things. This is something that people experience constantly, day to day. The rise of loneliness is a real thing in many parts of the world. Depression, grief, vulnerability, there's no masking here, no toughing it out, it's all raw. And I gotta say, love him or hate him, Affleck and Miller's performances here are actually really, really good. There's nuance and subtlety. The facial expression, the body language, and the dialogue showcase the complexity that Batman and The Flash have as characters without having overt melodrama. You know, it's funny, this scene is a closing of a chapter, not just for the narrative resolution, but also for the DCEU's Batman. But not in a completely happy way like, say, what we saw at the end of the Nolan trilogy. And yet, this might be one of the best closing chapters to a live-action Bruce Wayne that we've ever seen. It's a great, respectful, and heartfelt way to go out. Ben Affleck's final scene in The Flash transcends its status as a cinematic moment within a superhero film. It's arguably one of the scenes in The Flash that helps really lift up the movie. It's not only a farewell to a character, but also a farewell to a significant chapter in Affleck's life and career that we can actually identify with. That's actually easy to understand. This scene is elevated because of the emotional depth and symbolism. And cinematically, it excels so well that it's an experience that resonates on a personal and communal level, helping to bridge the gap between fiction and reality in a way that most big budget superhero movies are not able to do. Ben Affleck's Batman may be passing into the shadows, but the impact of his final scene still lingers, leaving an indelible mark on the legacy of the character and the actor who brought him to life. And honestly, we're all better for it. I'm John Automates. See you next time.